Welcome back. So I think that chapter 3-1 is going to be where the playthrough starts to get bad, difficulty-wise. I'm not looking forward to the water room, I'm not looking forward to the garden maze. There's also pretty much all of chapter 5, which I think is going to be just awful. The lava room as well is going to be especially bad, I think. I'm usually rocking upgraded black tail, TMP, bolt action rifle as I go through these areas. Never gone through here with the mine throw before, so this will be interesting. Welcome. Gotta select what you Until that point though, I will talk to this merchant because he sells quite a number of good things. Large attache case is available at this point, as is the scope for the mine throw, which I've never actually used before. I'll also throw in an upgrade for the mine thrower, which, yeah, firepower is the only thing I haven't upgraded yet. I'll sort out the inventory here. Yeah, it's looking like a train wreck every time I look at it. I'm surprised I'm doing so well on healing items, I have to admit. I'm sure later chapters will subvert that completely. But we'll see how I go. I've never actually fired the scoped mine thrower before. I've seen it used in a video, but I've never fired it. It doesn't take you out of the zoomed in view when you fire. Interesting. Alright, this is good news indeed. This catapult part is fortunately quite short, but on my first few playthroughs, I struggled quite a bit. Ashley was the, uh, the victim of a couple of explosion-induced comas. But that doesn't normally happen anymore, so we'll see how we go here. We'll see how I go here, you guys I'm playing. Wait. Now, I know there's some douche nozzle up there. Not even firing anywhere near the right direction. But I did hear him die, so that's good. There's a third catapult on the left side. Can I see him from here? I see the explosive barrel. What if I shoot the torch? Will that work? Yep, I hear the sound of him bubbling away. That worked. I am a genius. I expect my Nobel Peace Prize in the mail before the end of this week. Wait. As soon as you go up this second flight of stairs, two zealots will spawn at the beginning of this area. They are very slow, so you should have plenty of time to clear this area before you continue. Catapult guy over here is still kicking. Let's fix that. Alright, Ashley should join me. Excellent. Wait. Clip through the door a little bit there, no worries. I probably won't pick up the gold bangle either, it's just a treasure I don't really need. Now as for you two, you are not supposed to run, stop it. I wanted to wait for that. Fun fact, as soon as you fire the cannon here, every enemy in the area immediately disappears. I've seen speedrunners use this before. I've done it a couple times myself, but I don't do it very often. I usually like to just kill everything first. I think that's this entire area cleared. That's a surprise. Now rotate the crank. This game thinks it can beat me with a button mashing quick time event. I'm 28 and a half years old and still single. My right hand has a six pack. Bring it on. Okay, we're good. Actually did start to hurt at the last second there. I'm not going to grab the gold bangle, there's just no reason to. Made sure Ashley was right behind me instead of climbing through the window or something dumb like that. She's done that before, and it's pretty funny to see. There's no reason to talk to this merchant either, so just grab the spinel and leave. 
Now this area is uh, one that I'm a little concerned about. It also contains the hardest puzzle since the Mendez's door puzzle. I shouldn't have to explain it, I'll just let you find out for yourself. Well, I'm definitely glad that worked. That one detonated in midair. Um, cool. Follow me. I didn't expect that to go this well. I shouldn't say that out loud, the game will hear me. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Alright. Don't. If I time these right, I should be able to do that. <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh, more. Okay, cool. Wow. That firepower upgrade, though. Can you shut the fuck? There you go. Can you just shut the fuck? Don't even shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck. I'll reload while he's down. And he stands back up again. That'll learn you. Like I said, hardest puzzle. Put gold sword on here. Put platinum sword on the other one. Oof. Must be all this Rick and Morty that I've been watching lately. Oh, I forgot about this bit as well. Okay. I actually have a new strategy for this area. Nothing really changes in terms of dealing with it directly. Wait. But leave Ashley right here. If you're playing on easy, this door is locked and that door is wide open. None of the zealots will attack Ashley while she's in front of that door. You can just leave her there while you clear this entire area. It's great. <laughs> he just opens the door, immediately explodes. New flavor of Girl Scout cookies. The sniper up on the left here. You can usually shoot him before he shoots you, unless you're using the rifle, in which case it takes a little bit longer. Ah, there's usually a straggler in here. It's always such a bitch when this guy drops something up there. I don't see it very often, but fuck him if he does it. There's also two shield guys around this corner, and if I use my brain here, I think I can do this. Haha. <laughs> grab the green herb from here. Don't grab the castle gate key from that chest just yet. I do need to think about this. I usually try to whip around really quickly and shoot that explosive barrel, but I might not have that luxury this time. What if I plant a mine dart there? That actually worked. All right then, I'll take it. <laughs> Three additional drops outside the room confirms my kills. I approve. Right, now that we have the castle gate key, we'll open these unnecessarily large doors. I think Salazar's just got too much money. Skip the cutscene where I have a chat with the midget. I don't think there's anything that I care about in this room. There's, I think, a velvet blue in one of these. This one? Yeah. There's a gem just above my head on the wall which I have to shoot down. Anything else? No, just ammo. Alright. Uh, the Garanor's up next, along with the water room. Gulp. 
I'll leave Ashley here. I think there's a hand grenade or incendiary grenade somewhere around here, maybe? Game? Incendiary, all right. First instance of money behind one of these paintings of Sadler. Make sure to pick up this yellow herb inside the crate on the far end. I don't care about that note. Now, important note when you enter the prison, make sure you don't take Ashley in with you. It just makes things more difficult for no good reason. Well, yes, I have learned this lesson the hard way. Why do you ask? Now, if you're feeling extra ballsy, which I usually like to do, you can run in, hit the lever immediately, quick turn, run out. Wait for him to start slashing, then start walking. Works every time. Um, can you make up your damn mind where you're going, sir? Sir. Sir, I'm not going through this circus with you again. Oh, gotcha. I've also put a little bit of thought into something. I think I'm going to allow myself to use the knife against an enemy that's carrying Ashley to a load point. Because if I don't, Ashley's just going to die regardless. So... Using the knife at least gives me a chance to save her. Ooh. Uh, what? Okay, I got a little concerned for a second there. Oh, he's done. Alright, I'll take it. Leave Ashley here for the moment because a couple of new enemies will spawn. Quiet you. And you. There's a guy with dynamite around this corner. Wait. Definitely leave Ashley behind because she can get caught in the explosion. No you don't. This guy cheats and he doesn't need to light his dynamite first. He just tosses it and it's already lit. I'll report him to Jagex and he'll never play Minecraft again. I've also noticed that the game doesn't seem to be dropping any mind darts for me anymore. Which sucks because it means it effectively blows my secondary objective out the window, but... It was pointless to begin with, so I can just do it with a hand cannon or something, which does actually seem to continue dropping more of its own ammo. Even if you have a ton of it, so... I guess I'm finishing this playthrough with 11 extra mind darts. It sucks, but... It's okay, I'm not dying inside. Speaking of dying inside, here's the water room. My favorite. First of all, fuck this guy, and this guy, and this guy, run straight through the center. If I can hold out in that back room, I might be alright. Damn it, I was afraid of that. I noticed her left eye was a little bit open there, but her right eye was closed. She usually has invincibility frames for stuff like that. I guess... Oh well, that's fine. Lost a couple seconds. One more death. Now you... Could you move the fuck out of the way, please? How am I dodging all this? Is there any staircase that isn't guarded? Nope. Alright. Wait a second there, Ashley. Oh, you son of a fucking... Hey, that's my president's daughter. Go find your own. Oh, God damn it! Whoa. Not what I wanted to do, but alright. Stop laughing at me, you jerk. I am a moron. Alright, hang on. It's okay, guys. I got this. Zoop! I'm helping, I'm helping.
<laughs> well, this will go well. Yep, thought so. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Shut up, Leon. It's funny. All right. I'm not sure how that worked, but all right. I looked away to shoot the guy on the left. Don't. Good. That one's guarded. That one's guarded. Fucking Ashley. Ah, oh, fuck my life. <laughs> Guys, this is going even better than I thought it would. Uh, zoop. Bitch, I just saved you. Ow. No, you don't, sir. Oh, this is not a good time, shield, bro. And Ashley's dead. Nope, got her. All right, good. <laughs> Ash is actually following me this time. Excellent. All right. So let's give you Salmonella. Don't do that. You're a jerk. What I will do is actually use a fish just for a bit of insurance. Nobody catch up to me. Okay. The problem is this room isn't even safe because enemies can jump in from a hole in the ceiling, which I'll show you in a second. But I'm not under so much pressure. Wasn't paying attention to my ammo at all there. But yeah, they can jump in through there. The other problem is enemies that are holding shields will kill Ashley instead of carry her away. Which removes my safety buffer for being able to get to here if I happen to leave Ashley behind. Hello, you're a piece of shit. Yep, there you go. Have a second one. The good news is, once I clear these guys out... Oh, actually, what I should do... Hmm. I should go step on the other switch to trigger everybody at once and just funnel them all in. And if I stay in front of Ashley, it effectively bottlenecks them. I say effectively because they'll go for both of us. But getting a shot on them, if they go for either one of us, will be easier. No, I want that money for no reason. If they do start to get a little bit close, I can usually goad them into attacking. Which is better than getting smacked with a mace. Oh, I know you're just out there. Your mind tricks won't work on me. Did that actually kill someone? Or break a shield? I think it might have broken a shield. I'm genuinely impressed. Is that everyone? No, it doesn't sound like it. I hear the clanking. Um, oops. <laughs> Uh, hello. Hello, sir. How are you today on this fine evening? Now, could you get the fuck out of my water room? Eat out. That's fine. I had the iframes from getting knocked down, so that worked out pretty well. Oh. Oh. Uh, 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 no. Stop it. Alright, can everyone just calm down for a second here? Uh-oh. 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 We're good. <laughs> no. Quit it. Yay, blah, blah, blah. Natural reaction. Is that everyone? Is the party over? Holy shit. 
I don't hear the clanking. Follow me. I can't recall any enemies in this area not having a morning star. Or is it a mace? I'm actually not sure. I looked this up a while ago, but I've totally forgotten. So if you can just hear the archers going, you should be relatively in the clear. I'll throw my scope back on. That guy's- whoa, he's aiming at me now. Crossbow guys fire two shots, then they have to reload. You can use that to your advantage. Interesting camera flick there. I tried to turn the camera back to the right so I could see what was dropping from these vases. But instead it decided to have a seizure. Two grenades right next to each other? I'm okay with this. Now this is the part that I'm a little concerned about. If Ashley gets captured while she's rotating the cranks, I will use the rifle to free her. I'm not going to use the mine throw, that's just going to guarantee that she dies. Follow me. Hmm. Contemplation intensifies. I think if I fire a mine dart right at the stairs, then that might do the trick. Might? Wait. Ashley, I want you to use it. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't actually see. Damn it, I wanted to make a bad joke. <laughs> oh, Alright, here we go, boys. Don't do it. Owie. Told you not to do it, and he did it. What a jerk. Good news is these guys have to be relatively far away, well, far away, relatively close to you, literally the opposite of what I meant to say, to be able to throw their scythe. So you should be able to gain some distance. I saw you there. No one to my left, good. Alright, so far, so shouldn't finish that sentence. Look, there's a crank over there. Unskippable cutscene. I actually am, I will admit I'm curious. If I am aiming my rifle at Ashley while she's up there turning the cranks after being captured, will she duck down? Because if she doesn't duck down and runs back to the crank, that makes the mine thrower safe to use here. I'll try it once. I'm actually genuinely willing to go through this area again. I took that off. I took that off. Okay. I also need to remember which side I usually hoist her up on because I want her to rotate the crank that raises the closest platform. I think it's this one. I'm probably wrong, but I think it's this one. Watch out for me. Now there's a zealot that spawns very close to her. I will use the rifle to kill him, he's just too close. Everyone else can be taken out with the mine thrower. With the possible exception of the guy that runs later on. No one else has showed up down below so far. Sorry guys, I've got to concentrate for this. I'm sure you can understand. Ah, I uh, bleh. Put it up the wrong one. That's okay. Just means that I have slightly less of a safety net. Here's the guy that runs that I was worried about. 
There we go, he's done. Put one in there just to be safe. I think we're set. No more stragglers down below. Come on. Yes. Leon! Bitch, I'm already here. Yeah. And that's the water room done. No checkpoint trick. Only one shot fired from the rifle. I'm okay with this. Freeze, bitch. Just kidding. Oh, sigh of relief. You can all take a breath now. The bad bit is over. Why am I looting the room still? Force of habit, I guess. Oh, you probably don't need me to tell you this, but I'm not going to do the shooting range in this playthrough. It's just extra money, which I don't need at all. Says me as he continues looting the room. Hand grenade, yeah. I'm just hoping for mine darts at this point, even though I know it's not going to happen. I just want mine darts. That's a lot of rifle ammo. I'll sell nine of them. Yes. What are you buying? I think that's all right. Okay. Now we'll go through this corridor and end the chapter. Woo. Next up, I think, is um, Hell in the Sewers with the Navistadors, and I think also the Garden Maze. Catch you then.